Ah, sunlight. Why is it so important? I'm gonna let you know on today's episode of Xeno Enthusiast. Scott with Xeno Enthusiast and this is the first time in a long time that I've been able to just sit and enjoy the sun on the beach. As you might have seen in the news, California was hit with these atmospheric rivers, which means that these rivers of, of really dense rain that came in and drops a lot of inches in a very short period of time and it flooded out so many places. For example, my mom lives in Capitola, California. It's this beautiful little beach. It looks like a little Mediterranean village right on the sand and the whole front row of restaurants and bars was completely wiped out. A big piece of the wharf came down and wound up inside the restaurants and it was just total devastation. It's going to take years to recover from that. And our beaches here in Southern California are just covered in lumber. Um, for weeks we couldn't get in the ocean because it was too muddy and there were even some sewage problems so um, I have not been in the ocean a really long time so I'm just really happy to be sitting here enjoying the warm weather um, even though we are in the third week of January. So I think there's something to be said about winter hibernation. I think that we have these natural biorhythms and I am definitely a solar powered person. I need sunlight and um, outdoor exposure in order to really feel awake and alive and at my best self. And you know, sometimes that just isn't available to me um, because of the weather. Rather than beat myself up about not feeling like doing things, sometimes I just succumb to that and go ahead and allow myself to rest. And I think that that's okay. So I don't know how many of you have heard of Andrew Uberman, I think is the way that you pronounce his name, or Huberman. He is um, a neuroscientist, and I think he's also a professor at um, Stanford University. And he has a podcast, and I, I have just discovered him in the last few months, and um, lately he's been getting a lot of play on YouTube. I think he maybe did an interview on um, Joe Rogan's podcast, and so he's gotten some recent exposure, but he has such interesting things to say about the mind-body connection, and it has to do with body chemistry and neural pathways and all kinds of little scientific body hacks. I find him fascinating, but one of the things that he said that I really resonate is how important it is to get sunlight very early in the day. He says it's important to get those lumens into your eyes um, early when the sun is really, really low in the sky um, and hopefully within the first hour of you waking up in order to stimulate certain biorhythms that you have that really help regulate your um, all of your biorhythms. I guess it has to do with hunger and sleep rhythms. And so when I don't have sunlight, you know, sometimes we're in the fog for like six weeks out of the year. In the summer here is actually, uh, I think it was Mark Twain that said the coldest, uh, the coldest winter he ever passed was the summer in San Francisco. So that's actually true that we don't get a lot of light and I really feel that lack of vitality because of the lack of sunlight. And I've been feeling that for the last month or so because we had so much rain and so many cloudy days and I was really cut off from um, the beaches and the ocean. I just depend on that so much for my own uh, well-being, my mental well-being, and just I get so much pleasure and vitality out of getting into the ocean. It is pretty cold. I don't know if I'm going to get in there today. We'll see. We'll see if I get in. <laughs> so anyway, I don't know if you're of the school of thought that uh, you just got to tough it out even if you don't feel like doing it, or are you of the school of thought that you know, um, inspired action actually is a lot more effective. And so maybe you shouldn't push through, maybe you should succumb to some of these natural biorhythms that we have and, and honor um, the season, whether that be a season to wake up early or a season to sleep in a little bit. Let me know what you think in the comments section below.
Oh my God, the water was absolutely glacial. It was so cold. So I just did a quick dip. I couldn't really stay in, but I'm really, really, really glad I did. Um, when you break these habits and, and don't do them for a while, you just gotta start somewhere. You gotta break the ice somewhere. So anyway, I guess for me, today's the day. <laughs> I'm Camille Scott with Xeno Enthusiasts. Thank you.